The best part about watching like True Social and everything go public today is how many Americans said, I'm going to buy this. I don't even know what the return is. I'm not doing it from an investment standpoint. I'm doing it to stand behind Donald Trump. I'm doing it because this is my way of getting involved in the egregiousness of what just happened. And I also think when you saw that the, the bond kick back from a half a billion dollars down to just like, you know, 125, there's a lot of Americans like, all right, I'm all in. What do I do to help? How can I help? How can I make sure this doesn't happen to him? Not a political question about former President Trump, but actually a business about Truth Social. You've seen the stock on the move in this, in this I'll call it remarkable, maybe even crazy way. Just say two words, GameStop. GameStop. That's what you think is going on here. I, it's a, I mean, it's ridiculous. Do you the company think, has no revenue. But do you think it could ever be a, a bigger business? Do you no. think if he wins the presidency, no. it becomes a... Why? An, I'm asking... Why would it be bigger? It's a scam, just like everything he's ever been involved in. <laughs> 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 I mean, who would buy a company that literally has, I mean, I think, what does it have? $30 of revenue? Uh, why would you put a, how could you put a value on it? Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. Okay, hold on. Can we just replay that part about it's a scam just like everything he's ever been involved in? It's a scam just like everything he's ever been involved in. Excuse me, sir. I'll have you know that my Trump steaks were the best doorstops money could buy. You can enjoy the world's greatest steaks in your own home. But it's been quite the week for Trump media. After trading last week with the ticker DJT, its share price rocketed up about 50% to close to $80 before crashing down. As of yesterday morning, Trump media shares were selling for nearly $47. But still, it gives the company that had just $4.1 million in revenue last year and reported net losses of $58 million in 2023 and around $6 billion capitalization despite its business focused on the Truth Social app, which, as we know, has significantly fewer users than other major social media platforms. All right, take a look at your uh, screens right now. Uh, Trump's media stock is down 18 uh, percent right there. You can see it. Uh, it has been dropping throughout the morning. This comes after the company that owns Truth Social posted financial numbers this morning. CNN's Matt Egan joins me now. Uh, Matt, this is no April Fool's joke, uh, but it might be making some fools out of investors out there. Yeah, Jimmy, it might be. Uh, we should note, though, that this stock really had been going up like a rocket ship until now. These new numbers are forcing a mini reality check. I say mini because despite the loss of 18% as we speak, we're still talking about a stock that has skyrocketed about 200% so far this year. It spiked in January when Donald Trump ran away with the Iowa caucuses and up again as the company went public. So here's the latest numbers that are concerning investors. Uh, True social owner Trump Media lost $58 million last year, and it generated very, very little revenue, just $4.1 million in revenue. Uh, put some context around that figure of revenue. If you look back at what Twitter generated when it went public about a decade ago, in that final year when it went public, $665 million, more than 100 times what Trump media has been able to rake in. And, and, and some of this is not shocking because we know that Truth Social is struggling. So when asked about this on CNBC, a platform that we've reported on in the past for cowing to the likes of Trump and his business associates, Expedia chairman Barry Diller had some words on this matter. Not a political question about former President Trump, but actually a business about Truth Social. You've seen the stock on the move in this, in this, I'll call it remarkable, maybe even crazy way. Just say two words, GameStop. GameStop, that's what you think is going on here. It's a, I mean, it's ridiculous. Do you the think, company has no revenue. But do you think it could ever be a, a bigger business? Do no. you think if he wins the presidency, no. it becomes a- Why? An, I'm asking- Why would it be bigger? Look, he's only interesting now because he's out there entertaining the folks. I hope if he does get elected, he just plays golf for four years, but- So do you think that all of the investors Investors in this are are getting scammed. Do you think they think this is a transference I of think, I think wealth from I th from one side to the other, and that's the goal? What do you think is happening? I think they're dopes. I mean, who would buy a company that literally has? I mean, I think what does it have? Thirty dollars of revenue. Uh, why would you put a? How could you put a value on it? They're buying it for other reasons, just like they bought. 
theaters when there was no theater business or they bought GameStop or whatever. It's stupid. It's stupid stuff. It was a thousand times revenue, I think. What? I think okay. it was four, four, wasn't it four million? It was four, value, mil, four million four dollars in value, revenue. Value, That's four no, million dollars in revenue. It's ridiculous. Four, I'm not saying it's not revenue. Four million. Why are you even talking about this? It's a scam. Just like everything he's ever been involved in is some sort of con. Um, let me pivot. Amazing as- survival of a of a con man is just beyond comprehension. Now, is it any shock that the same people rushing to buy a Bible from a man who couldn't quote a passage if it was written on the bottom of a ketchup bottle? President Trump selling a Bible is kind of a regular guy thing to be doing. All Americans need a Bible in their home and I have many. It's my favorite book. The forceful removal of peaceful protesters to clear the way for the president to hold a photo op at St. John's Church. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. At a verse that no, you like. I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the We love God and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. And you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favorite Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no verse that means I a lot to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like. No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. I think it's just an incredible, the whole Bible is an incredible. I joke uh, very much so. They always hold up the art of the deal. I say my second favorite book of all time. Was well, scammed into a standard pump and dump stock trick? No. Now, should we laugh at their misjudgment? Well, and some of this is not shocking because we know the true social is struggling. I mean, it is shrinking. Monthly active US users on iOS and Android down 51% year over year. It's not just much smaller than Twitter, it's even smaller than threads. And I think all of this just underscores why uh, there's a lot of warnings out there about this stock, right? One professor told me it's a bubble. Another basically called it a meme stock. So Jim, listen, we're going to see this stock go up and down uh, because its valuation right now is very, very high. Yeah, what a shocker that this is a meme stock. Uh, all right, Matt Egan, uh, you know, caveat em- uh, emptor, uh, buyer <laughs> beware. Uh, Matt, thanks so much. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> And while True Social stock is low on the priority list, considering Trump continues to brag about overturning Roe versus Wade as he paves the way for a nationwide abortion ban if he is to get back in office. A lot of things were done with Roe by by killing it. Number one, we brought Which it back was, to course, the states. Of course, your justices to the Supreme Court have made that possible. They did. Yeah. Uh, and and. You know, they did something that from a lot of standpoints is extremely good. Donald Trump gave us a preview of the final push. He was speaking last night, talked about getting rid of Roe, how everyone's happy about that. We know from all of the turnout in the special elections that that is not true. Forcing school prayer, something hugely unpopular. You can talk about migrants streaming down Stake Mountain. You can Hold on. No, you're talking the, about you want to win the election, right? You right. don't want to just win the primary. January Sixers are hostages. No, the hostages are in Jessica, Gaza. And the Department of Education Jessica, being whittled down to one person in all due respect, to ensure we all speak English. In all due respect, you know, the, the talk that you bring up has not worked. I mean, you look at every national poll, minus Quinnipiac, President Trump is prevailing in them. Then why is, is he, why is President Biden down just 1.9 points in the real clear politics average? The cherry picking but polls down. when it is so... We he should have expected he needs a, he needs a to be and higher. Barack Obama was down five he's to Mitt Romney. Why is was he President higher Romney. than that? I don't remember he his administration a, at needs, all. He needs a reset. He knows it. The State of the Union is supposed to be the reset. We will see okay. that is the reset Steak that he mountains. needs. I can't wait to visit. I would advise changing the rhetoric. Hasn't worked. <laughs> reset the language. It doesn't mean that certain red flags should be ignored. Red flags that we've seen before, such as this reoccurring theme we see. The through line of Trump money trouble and sketchy money with ties to Russia that helps him stay afloat. What do all these things have in common? Flirt, the number four, free.com, naked.com, stripchat.com, and Donald Trump. Well, according to new reporting out of The Guardian, they all got money from the same small bank in the Caribbean. 
I should note NBC News has not independently confirmed this reporting, and Trump media's response to this reporting was to broadly threaten defamation without contesting specifics. But today, The Guardian reported that it has obtained leaked documents showing that in 2022, Trump Media, the parent company of Trump's Truth Social, received a total of $8 million in loans from a company called ES Family Trust. And ES Trust is actually just a shell company created by the co-owner of a bank in the Caribbean known as Paxim. Paxim is not only a bank primarily known for its work with the online porn industry, It is not even properly licensed to make loans in the United States. And the Russian-American businessman who allegedly arranged that loan is also allegedly under scrutiny in a federal insider trading and money laundering investigation. And, and, and the reason Trump's media company needed that $8 million in the first place, despite Trump's claims about being flush with cash, the reason the company needed that cash so quickly was because in 2021, the company had planned to merge with another company for a big cash infusion, but that merger was held up by the SEC because even that deal seemed shady. And it turns out the SEC was right to be suspicious. Today, two of the early investors in the company that Trump Media tried to merge with in 2021 pleaded guilty to securities fraud, or in layman's terms, insider trading that netted them tens of millions of dollars. We are going to get some very expert help with all of the specifics here in just a moment, but let's just zoom out for a second. Truth Social is largely seen as Donald Trump's biggest financial lifeline. Last week, Trump's net worth shot up by more than $4 billion because of his stock in the company. $4 billion because investors believe Trump's media company is a good investment. A media company we now know was in the red to the tune of $58 million last year. So shady loans, insider trading, and a company that is hemorrhaging cash and is somehow Trump's big financial lifeline. What is actually happening here? Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com slash newsletter.